Hey guys, so I'm so excited to talk to you about what's about to go down. This is not clickbait in the slightest. Things are about to change. Sure, Jan. <sighs> what up everyone, my name is Michael B. Petty. Um, if you haven't hit it already, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, we got a little bit of development here in um, the Amberlynn sphere, and that is that Amberlynn is now a part of a pyramid scam. Has recruited me and another guy. Now we are getting three people each. The more people that get involved, the more people who are investing, the more money we're all going to make. It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme per se. It's I have to go make a call. Let me make a disclaimer first before we even get in too in depth on this video or whatever. Um, I'm not coming for anyone who has tried weight loss programs, commercial weight loss programs, uh, who's tried Jenny Craig and the like. I don't, it's not, if you want to use it, use it. If you don't, whatever, it is you, right? I, in particular, have done a little bit of researching into this particular weight loss program and have found that it is somewhat of a pyramid scheme. The whole thing is very interesting to me, I guess you should say, I could say. Um, I found it to be incredibly just misleading and kind of ick about it, and it all pretty much derived from Amberlynn's video. I was watching the video and at first I was like, eh, it is what it is, she's trying another weight loss program, what's new, it's January, this is about the time when she tries a new thing and it doesn't really work out in her favor because she refuses to see any kind of real medical doctor and stick to any kind of real medically supervised diet or any kind of lifestyle change. Um, so I was like, eh, it just, it is what it is. But as I started watching it, it became, it became glaringly clear to me that this was almost like an ad for it. Like in the words that she was using to describe what what the program was. But the thing is, I've done it all. I've tried everything except for weight loss surgery and except for the program that I'm going to be starting within the next week and I'm freaking out. I'm so excited, you guys. I haven't been this pumped and this amped, this excited and anxious in a very long time. So, <laughs> Da, da, da. You guys ready for it? There is a program called Octavia that thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people do. But I just want to give you guys examples so you guys can go look of people who are doing the program Octavia and then I'm just going to explain it a little bit, just a little bit because I will be making more videos about this and having you guys follow my journey. I am so excited. I just, I have, I have no words. I'm also very nervous. So on Instagram, you can follow Transforming Noelle. Her highest weight was 414 pounds and her current weight is 180. Take a minute, take a minute, let that absorb. Amazing, I know. And it's amazing. It has so many benefits. It's it, it's worked for so many people. Like I honestly felt like I was watching a Jenny Craig ad. And as someone who has 112,000 subscribers, holy fucking shit. Like that is right. She has over 112,000 subscribers. I feel like it's your part. You have to do your own due diligence before you start talking about stuff like this on a big to a big audience. Like you have to be more um, aware of what you're talking about and essentially what you're shilling on your channel. Regardless of if you were sponsored or not to do it, you're essentially promoting something on your channel. So it's like you need to be a little bit more um, aware of what you're talking about in terms of things like this, especially for something that she hasn't even done yet, right? That's the thing, right? She hasn't even attempted to even start this diet so she's talking about its amazing benefits its amazing um results without any without e herself seeing any results and to me that got a little weird so first i want to talk about what is mlm or multi-level marketing so multi-level marketing also called pyramid selling network marketing or referral marketing is a marketing strategy for the sale of products or services where the revenue of the mlm company is derived from a non-salaried workforce selling the company's products services while the earnings of the participants are derived from a pyramid shaped or binary compensation commission system so essentially what it is is 
the company, it's a pyramid. It's literally a pyramid. So the company sends out their product to a workforce that isn't paid for. They don't pay these people a salary or anything. Those people have to in turn buy whatever product they are going to sell. They sell that stuff to their clients while also hoping to get these clients to sell the shit too. So that's why it's a pyramid, right? So everything's working in tandem with one another, but the people at the top make the most money and the people at the bottom make practically nothing. And also, mind you, these people have to put in their own money. They have to put in their own money to buy this stuff. I personally have a... I loathe pyramid schemes. Like, I I hate MLMs. Um, I have seen a lot of people in my lifetime who have fallen prey to pyramid schemes i've seen a lot of people lose a lot of money lose a lot of their possessions and stuff because they go and they they are pretty much shilled this product that is not that great it's not many people want it but the person has been coached so well to and been has so convincing that people believe them and so they end up buying this stuff and thinking that they're going to be able to turn around and sell it for a profit too and they're going to get people to sign up under them too and place their order so they can get compensated and that never happens and i think the biggest part of why i really dislike mlms is that they tend to go for already vulnerable groups of people so like single mothers older people um like women who are trying to like support their families um, it just, I mean, men do it too. Young, young people get caught in this. I know I've known a couple people who've fallen down the herbal life thing. That's another very prominent, uh, pyramid scheme. So I did a little bit of digging and I wanted to find out who is Octavia. I have never heard of Octavia before. I've heard of like Jenny Craig. I've heard of Weight Watchers. I've heard of Nutrisystem. I've heard of Metafast. I've heard of a lot of these different other weight loss um, companies. I've never done them because I don't think that it makes sense to pay money unless I was extremely busy and had no time for prepackaged food that probably doesn't taste good and is probably processed the fuck out of it. So I've never, I've personally never done these or whatever because I don't see the point in them. But I did a little bit of searching and I found out that Octavia is essentially just a subsidiary of Metafast. And Metafast is an American nutrition and weight loss company that's based in Maryland. And it has five subsidi subsidiaries. One of them is Take Shape for Life. And up until July of 2017, it had been known as Take Shape for Life and it is now known as Octavia. So Octavia is essentially just a subsidiary of Metafast. So if you've done Metafast, you've essentially pretty much done Octavia. Now, this is where it gets interesting. It gets, it gets, uh, it gets very interesting to me. In September of 2012, uh, Metafast uh, subsidiary paid a 3.7 million United a 3.7 million civil penalty for false advertising, and this was by the Federal Trade Commission and the United States Department of Justice. And this had to do with this advertisement. The advertisement for the Metafast five and one plan low calorie diet told consumers that they could lose up to two to five pounds per week, and that these weight loss claims lacked a reasonable scientific basis and were unsubstantiated. Under the settlement, any further claims made by the company must be backed by at least one human clinical study, right? So if you've watched Amberlynn's video, you know that's the plan she's talking about doing. She's talking about doing the five and one, the five and one. I'm gonna be doing the five and one plan. So what that means is I'm gonna be eating six times a day. It's gonna be all very, very, very small portions. Five and one means I'm gonna eat five of their fuels a day. And the other meal is called the lean and green. So I wanted to do some more digging to see if there were any if there are any trials that were then conducted to like so they can make this claim because obviously Octavia um, is doing the five in one plan. So and they're subsidiary they are they are part of the Metafast Empire, so they would be beholden to that ruling by that judge. So um I did a bunch of research and I the only studies that I could find that had to do directly work with Metafast and testing that theory of the five and one and losing X amount of weight were all paid for and conducted by Metafast. So I orig I I'm automatically don't believe any of it. Cause I, if you're, it, it, it's just like, it, it would be as if like Marlboro did a study on the harms of smoking but they did it themselves with their scientists and was paid for by them. Of course, 
all of the information is probably going to be biased. Like, it's not going to be at all kind of, it's not going to be objective at all. But I did find one study. So a study, a, a 2015 study released by John Hopkins Medicine found little reliable evidence that most commercial weight loss programs, including Metafast, resulted in people achieving long-term weight loss. The, res the researchers reviewed studies that ran for 12 weeks or longer and on randomized controlled trials. Participants in low-calorie meal programs such as Metafast lost more weight than non-participants in trials lasting four to six months, but the researchers only found one long-term study which showed no benefit for these plans at 12 months. The very low-calorie programs also carry higher risk of complications, including gallstones, the researchers found. So, in the short term, yes, these programs work. You will lose weight because you're essentially only eating 1,000 calories a day. If you look at the Octavia one, um, so five in one plan, you're eating essentially 800 to 1200 calories a day, which is extremely low. And anyone that was eating that little of food would lose weight. The one thing that I found very, very interesting about this is because we all know our girl has gallstones. I have gallstones. We've had to hear for I don't know how many years, I have gallstones, I suffer with gallstones, da 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 da. Doing diets like this that are heavily processed foods, that are very low in calorie, Things like this cause gallstones. That that's what happens. Okay, like I've I've experienced a gallstone. It's not fucking fun. I had to take gallstone medication for it. When you're eating such low calories and you're eating things that are heavily processed, um, gall, it triggers gallstones. Gallstones attack. So I think it's interesting that she's so willing to like do this diet, knowing good and well. Well, she doesn't know actually, because I don't think she's done any research. That's something to be very weary of. So what is this? five and one kit, right? So essentially what the five and one kit is, is it's five fuelings a day with one lean and green meal. So the lean and green meal is like chicken and broccoli or whatever the hell you want to eat. And then the other five meals a day are essentially just bars, processed cookies and brownies and shakes. And to top this all off, it costs $356 per kit, per kit, okay? So, you're spending almost $400 a month on bars and shakes, which is fucking crazy to me. I don't know why anyone would want to do that. And to, to, and to top it all off, it's overpriced. All of this stuff in those bars, from what I could find, you could buy at a cheaper rate at Walmart. So my advice to her, sis, get in your scooter. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for it, but I'm just, you know, being honest, so. Honesty is the best policy. Okay. Um. Go to Walmart, troll the aisles, and you could get everything in this kit at Walmart for way cheaper. Way cheaper. So, I don't know what this coach has gotten into your brain to convince you that this is the way to go, but girl, this ain't it. This ain't it. I'm telling you right now, this is not it. Now, to get on to the coach thing, the health coach, as she was saying. Um, from what I found, anyone can be a health coach. There is no kind of testing, there's no kind of regulation, there's no kind of advisory board, there's nothing. There's no kind of, you don't even have to watch a PowerPoint to become a health coach. You wanna know what you have to do? All you have to do is buy yourself an Octavia business kit for $199. You get yourself a nice little planner, you get yourself a little pen, a little cardboard box, you get yourself a nice little water bottle that says Octavia Coach on it, and girl, you're set. You're out here, you're health coach, you're doing it up, and the part that, and this is the part that makes this an MLM, right, is these people are essentially paying to sell products to innocent people. This is just, this is more just a joining fee to become an independent distributor. That's all it is. That's all that this is. Just like many other pyramids gives, you need to have a monthly order to qualify commission and rank. So as you, the more money you, you, um, you bring into the, to the company through your orders from your clients, um, the higher your rank is and the more your commission is, right? And the way, and this is from their own website, this is the compensation plan. Coaches earn a 50% commission on the personal volume of orders placed by their frontline level one clients. Level one meaning introductory level people. It's people like Amber Lynn who've not been a part of this program at all. Um, personal volume is the combined compensation volume of all commissions, items, and orders. 
Um, there is also a reward to continuing education and becoming certified with Octavia, whatever that means, being certified with a company that doesn't, you're not a registered dietitian, and you're none of the above. I don't even know if you have to take like a general nutrition course. Um, continuing education through coach certification, so highly that our co compensation plan rewards this behavior with an additional 3% bonus based on frontline volume. This coaching thing could mean anything. and. From what I from what I've been able to gather from it, the coaching thing is just how to sell better. It's not so much like how to be how to know more about like physiology and how the the human digestive system works and how calories are burned and all. That. No, it's purely about like how to sell better, how to sell your product better. When Amberlynn kept going on and on about how excited she was with her health coach, how excited she was that you know she's gonna be joining the ranks of these people who have been on it for a year and have lost 200 pounds and people have been on this and have lost 300 pounds and da 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 da. I honestly think that Sis gets a, an urge, she gets a high out of the idea of losing the weight but doesn't really do anything to lose the weight. And I think that this coach is taking full advantage of her, which is, I mean, I'm not trying to like defend her or whatever, but this coach landed a whale. Okay, okay, maybe that's really not a good choice of words. This coach landed a cash cow. It's also not a very good choice of words. <laughs> this coach landed a jackpot. This coach landed someone who essentially has the means to bring her a ton of her, him, I don't know who the coach is, I don't know the gender of the coach is. This coach has essentially landed someone with the potential to bring them in a lot of money. And we all know that Amberlynn likes to spend money frivolously. So I, I know she's not going to watch this. I mean, she may watch this or she may not, but says, I'm going to urge you to do exactly what your doctor told you to do, and that is to just do low carb and to come in every month and they'll weigh you and they'll help you with your weight loss journey. Instead of relying on someone from Instagram, we all know how this has gone down before, right? We all know if even what you said was true, we all know what happened last time with this Instagram shit. It's not going to work out for you. It's not going to work out in your best interest. This isn't going to be beneficial to you. This only person that's going to benefit is the coach and Octavia. Okay? And the amount of whoever else is going to sign up for this shit from watching that video. Okay? It's gross. It's disgusting. You refuse to take any kind of real accountability or responsibility for your weight loss and for your binge eating. Another thing that I find... I found interesting was talking about how she was talking about being allowed or the restrictions of this diet. Also tell you how many condiments a day you can use, how many healthy fats a day you should eat on your own and stuff like that. It's just, it's all just there. It's telling you what to eat. It's all super, super simple foods. And that's, this is the very thing that I've been looking for because I can't think of a single reason why I would fail on this besides my binging getting the best of me but the thing is so many people who have done this say that their cravings go away and from what i've been able to gather from binge eating disorder is those are a lot of words and stuff that are that's a lot of language that you don't want to use when talking about and confronting binge eating disorder now i did some i tried to find some articles about it it's very hard to find articles about um, binge eating disorder and commercial weight loss programs because I think it's from my understanding that they wouldn't want to subject um, actual human beings to like who that suffer from this stuff to things that could be extremely detrimental because binge eating disorders are highly destructive and they are very hard to, to come back from so but what I have found is I found this um, this article from this this woman named Dr. Kate of Kerrigan. She is from the Walden Behavioral Center and this is what she stated. She said, if you have binge eating disorder, weight loss programs can trigger downward spirals or cycles of binge eating behavior that looks something like this. Feel bad about self, decide to lose weight, start a diet. Feel hopeful, break the diet, binge eat. Feel bad about self, binge eat. Feel worse about self, and so on. Weight loss programs like Jenny Craig and Weight Watchers will not control your urges to binge eat or lead you to stop using binge eating as a means to cope with underlying feelings. This is something that people have been yelling to Amberlynn Reed for years. Seek professional help. 
Find someone specialized in binge eating disorders or eating disorders or find a bariatric doctor or find a registered dietitian that is specifically helpful when it comes to binge eating because these programs are not designed for people like you. In fact, I would go on to say that the, most of these programs aren't designed for people in general, okay? They're very counterintuitive. They're ve they make no sense. A lot of people fail on them. There's a reason why in America, 95% of people that lose weight struggle keeping it off for more than five years, okay? It's because we use unhealthy modes and unhealthy ways of losing weight, and then it's it's just un it's unsustainable. It's impossible to maintain. It's programs like these that that don't work. And there's been tons and tons of evidence of 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 companies like Jenny Craig that design their companies to be like this because they know that once you get hooked on this shit and you lose the weight and then you come off of it, you're gonna have to come back and spend more money. The, these companies. They, they try to pretend like they're in it for, their, for your best interest, but truly they're only in it to make money. They are a business. They have a bottom line to create, to get to every day. So, and they found that using the coaching method through Octavia yielded the most money. It yielded them the best results. And so they've been going with this for since for the timing. That's why they've completely rebranded it into Octavia. They completely rebranded the MetaFast thing into Octavia because the coaching thing, it gives them the max amount of profit without doing any of the work themselves. These coaches are essentially marketing their product for free, selling their product for free. Well, not for free, but for a conversation, but essentially free. Now Octavia doesn't have to do any of the work. They don't have to have a center where people come in and, I mean, at least Jenny Craig has storefronts. Like, that is the thing that I think people need to really understand is that a lot of these businesses aren't in it for the better the betterment of their and their clients or their employees if you want to call them that i don't really, i don't know if you call them employees when you're working off off of commission like that especially somewhere with no benefits like i don't even know if you could call that an employee but this isn't gonna work and i i mean shit this is i it's sucky saying it but like when this crashes and it's not going to go well. It's not going to go well, okay? So I know that she likes to pretend that people are just on her because she's fat and da-da-da-da, and that's true. People are on her but because she's fat, but I think, but mostly people are on her because she just makes really shitty choices, and this is just another really shitty choice. The correct choice, see a psychiatrist, see a psychologist, see your doctor. Do exactly what your doctor wanted you to do. Your doctor wanted you to do low carb, wanted you to come in for checkups, do blood work. You didn't do it. So for you to sit there and pretend that you tried, you never, you never really gave it a try. You never gave it a good go at it. You gave up very quickly. So I don't know, girl, this is, I, this isn't looking too good. Um, we've seen this cycle before and and we'll probably see it again. Um, I don't know. I'm going to end it here. Uh, that's my spiel on this whole Octavia stuff. Um, my name is Michael. You can follow me on Instagram at Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, toodles.